Welcome to What is Biomechanics? At this point, you may be wondering what biomechanics is. Well, yeah, the name may be self-explanatory. It is the combination of biology or physiology with mechanics. But what would you learn in a biomechanics class? Imagine scientist William Harvey, who back in 1615 discovered blood circulation. This is a revolutionizing discovery, yet at that time, he was not able to see capillary blood vessels. So the assumption was that oxygenated blood was pumped by the heart through the body, disappeared into the organs, then reappeared inside the veins. Only in 1661, using a good microscope, was Marcello Malpiffi able to discover capillaries. And we now know blood doesn't quite leave the circulation unless we hurt ourselves. It makes sense that an advancement in technology was needed for more advancements in physiology to occur. Now in the 21st century, with all our technology, we are actually not even close to finishing our advancements in physiology. Maybe some can argue that we have discovered all the organs, cells, and tissues. However, we now need to quantify their mechanical properties. And frankly, how do we even go about that? Many of the early discoveries in bioengineering were made by a scientist called Hermann von Helmholtz back in the 1870s. He invented the ophthalmoscope to better study the retina, the ophthalmometer to measure the curvature of the cornea, and the Helmholtz resonator to study the hearing mechanism, and many more. So basically, a lot of tools you see when you go get your eyes checked. Yet for that, he's considered by many the father of bioengineering. Now back to biomechanics. What will you even do in this course or studying biomechanics at all? Well, as a bioengineer, you could easily make the next big discovery. A large part of biomechanics will include statics and dynamics where you will get to study forces and motion. After that exploration though, the study of how our body deforms or changes shape, both in health and in disease, how our tissues maintain their mechanical properties, or how our tissues interact mechanically with one another you can now take your knowledge on capillaries, skin, heart, muscle, and bone, and develop non-invasive technologies to measure changes in tissue properties. These changes can inform disease, and now you're basically saving the world. Okay, well, maybe not that fast, but we believe in you. Through your exploration of biomechanics, you will learn about forces, motions, inertial forces, and stresses, strains, and their distribution throughout tissues. You will play with constitutive equations, which are equations that describe a material's mechanical properties, and much more. The approach taken in the study of biomechanics is mostly an application of continuum mechanics into mammalian physiology. So now that you're informed, let's get cracking with some biomechanics.